Hello again. Welcome to Center Stand Mechanics. My name is Kyle, and today we are going to put the back wheel on my VX Drum. Finally, it's uh, I've been looking forward to this for a while, and it's been a long time coming. I got a few things to do first. Um, I wanted to show you um, in here where I cleaned the other day, and uh, it actually got pretty clean here. I'll get a light on it, and. Uh, it actually turned out pretty good in there so I can put that back on so one of the things I got to do is put the uh, I got to put the the front sprocket on and then um, I got to put the chain guard on and then I got to uh, yeah put a couple things together on the back wheel and put the back wheel in there um, one thing I noticed actually, which is weird, is the front sprocket that I took off is, I thought this was a 17, but it turns out it's a 16 tooth, which is the one I wanted to put on. And so now I have, <clears throat> I have two 16 tooth top sprocket, front sprockets. And, uh, so I think I'm just going to put the old one back on because it's married to the chain and, uh, and as well with the, with the rear sprocket. So. So that'll be good, I guess. And then uh, if I want to change the gearing in the future, I'll probably have to uh, go bigger on the back if I want to lower the gearing a little bit. So, but that's down in the, in the future. So, not to worry for now. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's get to it here. I got a bunch of work to do, so. We'll, uh, we'll stick you on the forehead and we'll get to it. Before I even got this cover off or anything, I ordered this one. And it turns out they're the same. But that's okay. I have a new one for down the road. And um, that's just the way it goes sometimes. You just uh, make little mistakes. So this goes on here like this. And for now, then there's this little washer that goes on. And uh, it actually helps. You need that washer, you won't get any bite on the on this. And then if you look at this, it's actually countersunk down to allow the splines to go into this nut a little bit. So that's important. And uh, actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of a little bit of grease on the threads here, just to help stop it from uh, corroding. And uh, yeah, but I was just gonna say, oh yeah, so I'm I'm just putting this on there, finger tight, because uh, I won't be able to torque it down until. I get um, the back wheel on and the chain and everything. Okay. So I'm just, I'm not gonna torque this down. I just wanna get it tight. more stuff to go on here there's the speedometer counter that goes on here and, and that so that's first step there all right so the next step I want to do is I clean this off and uh, I want to put this on first before I get the chain on and um, if you were watching my previous video when I took this off, I had a little, I had a hard time getting this, this, uh, this bolt out of here because it, the exhaust was in the way. And it's one of these, it's like a, a JIS uh, screwdriver tip. And I, you know, you can't get straight on, right? That's about as good as you can get. So I ended up going to a metric 10 millimeter bolt. And, uh, 
we'll see how that so yeah we'll just put this 10 millimeter bolt in here But yeah, so it's a lot easier to get this tight and on there properly and I don't mind that there's a bolt there because it just makes it easier to deal with. Okay, so now we are ready to start putting the back wheel together here. So we got all my pieces laid out. There's a couple things that has to go on in order to do this right. Just like that. Okay. grease all this up it actually says in the manual to put I don't know something Suzuki grease on here but we'll put grease grease on here <laughs> not sure what the difference is but maybe there's a big difference I don't know but here you go so this goes in here like that actually ready for the axle shaft when it gets in there oh yeah lots and lots of grease so you put this in here like that and then I've got a hold of it with my finger. And I drop this in like that. There. Like so. And then uh, this is the uh, little collar for the outside. Just a little bit of grease here. This is the surface that makes contact with the seal. Right. It goes in here like this, like that. Okay. And then there's the same sort of thing on this side. Make sure my hands are clean. There's 
one here. Okay, this one goes in here on this side, like that. Okay, so that's getting prepped. Then I'm just gonna put some grease on the axle bolt. And get it ready. Put a little bit of grease on the uh, axle nut itself. Grease really helps it so it doesn't seize on there because you're going to have to take this on and off, right? And then I like to put a bunch on here. So I've already cleaned this off in my previous video and now it's time to put it on. And these things, you know, they get in there and if you don't put grease on them, they'll sit in there and they'll corrode and rust and you know, and then when you go to take it off, you'll have a hell of a time trying to uh, get this out because it's like it locks in there with rust. So a little bit of grease goes a long way. All right. So I'm just gonna put that on there like that. Out of the way, clean my hands. I might actually get a fresh pair of gloves because I'm going to be handling the wheel, so I'll be uh, back in a moment. So, axle goes in from this side, so I'm going to get the wheel in here. Now, you gotta feed this brake rotor up inside the uh, this brakes, which can be a bit tricky. So I'm gonna get it sort of close to where it's supposed to go. And we're gonna ease it in. Okay, so there they go in there like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get this under here to help use my uh, flat bar here to help lift this up when I'm ready. up on this and try to scoosh this underneath to help hold it up. Pretty close to the right height. So I can start feeding the shaft in here. Okay. 
Once I pull out the uh, the uh, crowbar here, here. And this chain should go on like that. Good. Okay. There. So the axle shaft is in on this side. Now I'm going to put the, uh, the axle bolt Okay, so now I'm just going to put on the uh, pieces that go on this side, the axle bolt, this washer and I'm not going to tighten them up just yet because i got to adjust the chain and uh, make sure everything's lined up but I can hand tighten this on like that alright kind of slide that out a little bit Get ready for the chain tightening. Brake works. Perfect. Okay. So now I just have to adjust the chain. And then once I get that all squared away and I know the wheel's straight, then I'll tighten this down to its spec and I'll put this. Uh, this brand new cotter pin in and that will be wheel on the bike so yeah we're almost done i'll start adjusting the chain on this side it's got a, this adjuster knot's got a ways to go okay I just get your 10 mil in here. Butterfinger, come on, get in my hand. I grease some stuff all over my hands. Greasy. So we'll just get this kind of in the ballpark here and then we'll start checking it side to side. There's actually little marks right here, little, little um, notches. And we'll check our notches and make sure it's equal on both sides. So that's still too loose. It's getting close. Now we'll check the other side. So we've got, we probably can't see it in the camera. Maybe you can. So I go one, two, three, four, and it's just covering the fifth notch on that side. Oh, oh it's really hard to see on this side. I have to get my flashlight.
just about there. So still quite a bit of play on this side. So we'll go out a little bit more. Okay, that's getting that's getting close. Still too loose though. bit more that's close I always find I don't know about you guys but whenever I tighten these chains up and the axle nuts not tight yet you get it like this you're like okay that's good you go and tighten up the axle nut and then this is tighter for some reason. I don't, I'm not sure what happened there, but and it's like that with like every bike I've ever tightened the chain on. Um, it seems like every time you go and cinch down the, the axle nut, this gets a little tighter. Maybe I'm not quite sure why that is, but so if it's like loose like this, and it's like a little extra loose than I want it, but once I tighten out down the axle nut, it should be good. That's sort of what I'm saying. Ah, that's weird. I find that a lot though with these bikes. So where are we at? So we're at one, two, three, four. We're just starting the fourth notch on that side. Okay. One, two, three, four. So we got, there's a little bit of this notch to come out a bit one two three four just a tiniest little bit one two three four it's like just starting the fourth notch Go check this side. Yeah, just starting the fourth notch. So see I think what's gonna happen. I mean that's alright, but I think as soon as I tighten down the axle nut. That's gonna actually tighten up a little bit. So I'm going to back this off just a hair. And see what happens there. So now let's, and we'll see what happens when I tighten that down. Park that in a sec. There. Now there's a bit of play in there, and then when you when you get the bike off, and the suspension starts to pick up the load of the bike a little bit, that tightens up a little bit. Um, it's pretty pretty close. If it's uh, if it's too loose after I get the bike down, I'll just I'll just tighten it up again. A little bit, but I think that's pretty good. I mean, it might be a little bit loose. <clears throat> but, uh, Yeah, <clears throat> I think that's, 
Maybe a touch too loose. Let's take that off a bit. And I'm just going to bring that out just a bit more. Maybe just a tiniest little bit. I'll check the other side. Go with that. Yeah. Okay, so one more thing to do, and uh, that'll be it for the video. I just want to uh, torque this down and get this cotter pin in, and then I'll Make sure that this lines up with the hole, one of the holes. I think there's one right here. Yeah, I just gotta turn it just a tad. There, right there, I think that'll work. Huh. Something like that. Just gonna turn that like that because I might readjust the chain, and if that's the case, I'm gonna have to pull this out and lock that off. Okay, so now the next thing to do is to uh, is to lock these lock nuts, and then you just lock these adjuster nuts off. They don't change on you. You don't have to be crazy tight, but you know, get them kind of tight. And then you do this side. Make sure it's sort of tight against there. to being able to go for a ride now. 
I'm not really waiting for much. Let's take some of this grease out. And uh, oh, the back wheel's already built. New wheel, new bearings, new brake pads. Speaking of brake, let's just make sure that works again. I'm gonna have to adjust the height of the pedal, but I'll do that. Yeah, look at that. Brake are working good. Oh yeah, instant. Awesome. The, uh, and the wheel's all balanced and good to go. So, yeah. So probably end the video there, guys. But, um, so that's that. Finally got the wheel back on this bike. So now I can move it around. I'll probably actually take it down off this deck and, um, and put it back where I normally work on bikes. It's just the reason why I had it up here because I had to take the wheel off and I couldn't move it once the wheel's off. And with the rain coming and everything, it uh, made it hard to uh, keep it under cover while I was working on it because, you know, it was a couple weeks in the making here getting this done because, you know, I got to work my day job. And uh, this is just my, this is what I do for fun, right? But, uh, yeah, that's how you do that, guys. So thanks for uh, watching, and um, and uh, stay tuned. I got a few more little things I got to do to this bike before I, it's ready for the riding season. And uh, we'll do, do some videos on that. I think next I got to, I got to put this cover and stuff on, and I got to figure out where this oil leak's coming from, and, and you got my GPS mount, and yeah, there, there's a few things I gotta do. But until then, uh, Center Stand Mechanics out.